Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus signs. Let's start by pulling some cards out from this deck. I'm currently working with the Wisdom of the Oracle cards. And later on, we're going to be checking in with Tarot to see who or what you might be dealing with for this week, okay? Please keep in mind, Taurus, that the messages are general, and for cross-watchers can also be vice versa. It all depends on your situation, okay, my dear? All right, so let's see what are the energies playing out for you guys for this week. All right, so the main theme playing out we have here by the book. All right, so this week is all about getting back on track for you, Taurus. I kind of feel like for some time, you guys have been distracted or sidetracked about a situation. Maybe because you were trying to search for answers, you were trying to get out a truth, maybe from a specific relationship. We have here truth be told. Kind of feels like someone in your environment had their mask on. And so what this tells me you could have found out something was not what it seems here. But you know what they say, even though the truth hurts, it will set you free. Kind of like the energy of finally, after finding out the truth, you have your inner peace back. And you are now ready to function, get back on your normal routine, okay? Because um, a lot of people are relying on you, Taurus. That's what I'm getting here. So at the moment, some of you are still getting over some feelings of rejection. Or maybe if you're the one who rejected someone, not for you here. You know what they say, for every pot there is a lid, and maybe this one doesn't fit. Um, whoever rejected who, I kind of feel like for both parties, in the end, it's energetically protecting each other because maybe you know that you're better for, for, for someone else or something else, right? Something bigger, something better, something more emotionally fulfilling, right? Although it's hard, but I kind of feel like you're in this process of releasing and forgiving this person. We have here the mending card. This means that maybe you guys are not in mutual understanding. After finding out the truth, you're not able to take this in a very mature sense. No longer holding grudge, resentment, jealousy, or just being in denial about this uh, ending. I kind of feel like this is for closure so that you can be back to a place of becoming whole, aligned, focused. All right, so you're energetically learning that. And you both are making mutual efforts and decision to not get bitter or not hold resentment about each other here. Just letting things unfold naturally. That's what I'm saying for you. All right, so let's see what that is all about. I'm going to put this on the side and we're going to return if we need be to those cards. Hopefully we can see here who or what you might be dealing with here, Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is Taurus dealing with for this week? Please, Spirit. All right, so how did the matter we have 10 of Wands? Clearly, this cycle is now coming to an end. And for some time, I feel like you really worked yourself for this to happen, Taurus, but it really drained you guys, okay? To me, Dot talks about really being caught up with a messy situation that for some time you may not have seen your path was currently obstructed. And from the looks of it, kind of feel like you will energetically clear this obstacle and you will have a clear path as a result. Let's see what's currently the challenge for you this week. We have Six of Pentacles. It's all about getting back to a state of balance. Also, this talks about give and take. And when this is currently being a challenge, I kind of feel like you realize someone was just not energetically reciprocating your efforts. If that was love, if that was uh, support, if that was loyalty, something here feels like one-sided, right? And you're trying to release that. You're trying to heal that as well. Um, yeah, this could be someone you had a history with, a past lover maybe, or an old friend. Someone you go way back, okay, with the Six of Cups. Also a soulmate connection. So I kind of feel like you are in this realization now that you don't need to force something to happen. You will still love this person, but the attachment is something you are already releasing, if that makes sense. You're no longer going to hold it against someone, or someone is not, no longer going to hold it against you, Taurus, if you can't provide what it is that they want from you. It's all about being honest and being clear here. 
no longer being in denial and I kind of feel like that's the beginning of mending mending yourselves and mending the connection getting back to how it was in the beginning okay so we have six of cups kind of feel like this is also an energy of missing someone you may are in this energy of nostalgia here recalling some memories too this week okay in the past we have the ten of cups so whoever this person is might also be a family member kind of feel like it, this person feels very familiar to you there's a sense of belongingness a community you feel really at home to this person or with this person in the past right um you know that you operated in the same kind of frequency this to me is the thread of alignment you thought that you were definitely aligned with this person but something energetically happened here and you may have felt like you hit a dead end because I don't know too much giving here Taurus kind of feels like you were getting the short end of the stick I kind of feel like you are the one I feel like you're walking away from this for now because it feels like you're done you can no longer give what it is that you've really given in the past and you want to get back to your inner child this can also indicate your inner child six of cups getting back to your path towards happiness how you were when things were less traumatic and, and less stressful right um, so that's mending with your inner child. This is also what I'm getting from the cards. Now, I kind of feel like if you're if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this could be someone younger than you, Taurus, or their energy could be coming across as quite still. Um, they have a lot to learn about give and take. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. There could have been also some straightforward rejection or you might be thinking of doing that, right? There's no beating around the bush. I'm going to really say to this person how I feel and how I see things to be unfolding. There's no need to drag this situation further because I'm not going to make this as hard as it already is, okay? So I kind of feel like you're in that mode. Um, you're thinking straight and you're seeing your situation very, very clearly here, all right? Also, be careful. I kind of feel like someone is watching you. Someone could be stalking you here. Um, someone from your past. If you're dealing with that person, I kind of feel like they're waiting for your for your response here, for you to reach out. If there has been a moment of no communication, you're not responding back, I kind of feel like they're observing you here, Taurus, in one way, shape, or form, maybe through social media. Okay, so what's coming in the near future, we have the temperance card. Yeah, you're going to take a break from all of this and you owe it to yourselves, right? You're going to you're going to really really recharge yourself here. Um and you're divinely protected and divinely guided. Like I said, for every lid there is a there's a pot. And this card indicates that if you felt rejected or if you had to reject someone, call it divine protection, right? Call it divine protection because you're meant for something else. And so forcing that path, going on that path you know, you might hit a dead end if you keep forcing that to happen. And this goes for the person that you're dealing with here as well. Um, and forcing a situation is not really love. I kind of feel like, yeah, it, it's quite a codependent energy. If that makes sense. So it's time to put yourselves first. It's time to love yourselves first and get back to a state of harmony here. Okay. Also, this, this talks about mending and forgiving. So... Whoever you had some tension with, there's going to be a sense of closure, forgiveness. Maybe for some of you, you're going to see if you can work things out. But this ending really needed to happen so that mask off. Okay, no longer in denial. You're seeing things for what it is. And that's important in order to make effective changes here. Okay, so. Yeah, I kind of feel like someone is thinking of traveling towards you here or might be communicating with you almost out of the blue this week you might receive some unexpected message this person may be gonna phone you up okay or you might see some news about this person too something unexpected like I said but it's definitely gonna get your attention it's gonna get you thinking here so in the environment we have here you okay earth sign so I kind of feel like you are still aware that there's a connection that binds you two together. I kind of feel like you're not completely energetically cutting this person out because I see that you might be open for mending the connection, but you're no longer going to overextend yourself, if that makes sense. If you are going to give this person another chance, for some of you, not for all, I kind of feel like you're only going to give a little because you're also letting go of a little here. Um, you tend to do things extreme in the past. You were overextending yourself. Um kind of like giving it all to this person that you love but now you could be practicing a more moderate approach 
all right and given that the page is here the daughter of pentacles is kind of like a new outlook new approach new perspective because something felt like a little bit extreme here in the past all right so hopes and fears you both want to move forward here with a chariot, Cancerian energy. Um, you're using sheer will and determination. It's like, I wanna get things done. I wanna realign myself with my goals. I wanna get back to work. Okay, the chariot, this is the horse. Okay, workhorse, literally. I, I kind of feel like this is not gonna stop you. If anything, this is all the more motivated you, Taurus, to focus on yourself here, okay? Or if that you want to move forward with this person, I kind of feel like it starts by you energetically making a decision to move forward. Because things are not going to move if you don't make a decision, Taurus. Okay? And I kind of feel like that's the reason why this person wants to communicate with you. To see if you can work things out. They want to physically move forward with you. But some of you guys are emotionally quite, not, quite holding back here for a reason. Like I said, because you're approaching a more moderate um situation or balance in your life okay some hopes and fears we have the son of cups as the final outcome i mean son of cups okay forgive me so son of cups as the outcome um there's going to be a romantic offer after all and i kind of feel like this person is going to reach out to you and try to apologize explain a few things what has kept you maybe in the dark with this person we have the ten of wands um but be careful though i kind of feel like there's a lot of secrets that's going to be revealed here um, I feel like someone is going to come forward, come clean this week, express how they really feel if they've been keeping you in the dark about this for some time. Kind of like out of the blue, someone is just going to confess to you what they've been holding in, what, what those emotions they've been bottling inside, okay? I don't know what that is all about, but I kind of feel like it's a confession. I kind of feel like someone is going to write you a long, long email here, all right? So why is the ten of wands here yeah you guys are definitely moving on here you're going to release the emotional baggage so you can see the rainbow after the storm all right you really fought a tough tough battle trying to be more positive about this but it just really came to a point where you must you must release it okay you must loosen up your grip here so we have the seven of cups here kind of feels like there's a lot of images playing in your mind um you're quite confused if the memories that you feel actually is encouraging you to get back with someone because i kind of feel like some of you guys are thinking of mending it but you're still in the process of finding out if these are just memories because we all have at some point missed our past okay but it doesn't energetically mean that you're meant to give this a chance i kind of feel like that's up to you to decide taurus what these memories mean okay because some of this can prove to be over intoxicating you might be in this process of being overly consumed by this plot okay that's why the daughter swords reminds you to cut out the emotions to see it in a logical perspective and see where you really stand in someone's life okay we have the ace of pentacles in the past or recently so like i said solid beginning solid offer in the past um, there's no denying that you have mutual love for one another but yeah I kind of feel like if you're gonna want if you're gonna want the one thinking of reaching out to this person um, you need to be really sure what you want out of this as well make your intention clear Taurus and likewise for this person if they are gonna reach out to you you don't want them to be playing with your emotions anymore and using the past as an excuse here to get back with you you really want to set the record straight to get back in alignment to get your ducks in a row okay so with coming to near future though i kind of feel like you are in this mode of discussing a few things you want to hear what they have to say you want to also know what they intend to do coming back around in your life before energetically maybe rejecting this offer or moving on you know but this is needed because if it feels at the moment still confusing for you guys don't leave things unattended okay it's better to have confrontation so you can hear it from this person directly no more what ifs what could have been no more secrets okay so if you're dealing with a fire sign um there's this tension they've been itching they've been wanting to um communicate you and they've been trying to hold back for some time but they can no longer hold it back all right there might be some feelings of pride as well or ego getting in the way but I kind of feel like they want to make things right. We have here the Five of Swords. Whoa, um, Taurus, I gotta be honest. Some of you could be feeling, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna respond to this person right now because I want them to feel what I felt. 
I don't know what that is. Or maybe you feel like you don't want to come across as um, hurting them by rejecting them. Because I feel like some of you are going to reject this person. But it can't be helped. They might feel like you led them on for some reason. I don't know why that is. But for some of you, not for all, this person might feel like they don't know what your intention is. You might be the one coming across as confusing to them. Okay? Now, yeah, you need to drop any other options here, Taurus. Or they need to drop other people. They need to be clear about what it is that they want from you. If it's you, it's you. If it's others, then no more wasting each other's time. Because I feel like someone here in this dynamic may also have a lot of options or could be talking to other people. That might be the truth that you found out, okay? That might be the information you also found out. Yeah, judgment card. It's finally a judgment call, my dear, because it's a long overdue decision. Kind of feel like if you keep putting this off, the, the more that you will be in the dark. But the sooner that you confront this, is going to be best for everyone, okay? I quite frankly feel like for most of you, you're going to release this situation altogether because it's already one or two cycles. And you're ready to focus on something new with the magician. You're going to get back to your focus, to your goals, and being back to work here, okay? So that is your reading for this week, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.